What's up everyone? So today I'm going to be remaking a problem I solved previously because I felt the solution wasn't explained well enough before I wrote the code. So the approach is still going to be the same, but I'm actually going to write out how the data structure is changing and storing the bits before I jump into the code. So uh, the original problem is just asking if given a 32-bit integer, you swap the bits around and then it wants the output of that bit. Uh, I'm just going to write the example here with 5 bits because I'm going to actually shift them over and show how it's being built up. So, let's see. Now, uh, let's go over some basic bit, manu bit manipulation before we dive in. So say we have a 0, 1, uh, 0, 1. What happens if we do AND 1? So this is the original. Then we get back a 0. Uh, AND 1, we get back a 1. Uh, if, we, if we OR 1, we get back a 1. If we OR 1, we get back 1. So when we want to take the original and get it back, what we do is uh, say AND 1. So that's how we're going to retrieve each of these bits. Now, let's look at how I'm going to store store each one. So what we do is first have 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. And we say AND 1. My list is going to get back a 0. Then I want, since I'm done with this rightmost set bit, I push this guy over. So I'll be using this one for that. And then that pushes this over to this. I say AND 1. And I get back 1. So uh, I store that one. Now I'm done with that. I push it over again. 0, 0, 1, AND 1. Push it again. 0, 0, AND 1, 0. 0, AND 1, 0. Now, now, if you look, my list is actually the same output that I want. So initially, this was the in, uh, input. When it's flipped around, it's going to look like this, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. So that's 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Now, I'm going to use this list to rebuild the desired output. So say I have a list of uh, integers, right? How do I take a fresh value, fresh, mm, say, result, and how do I rebuild it? Well, let's look at how we insert bits into uh, a, a number. So let's say I have 101. And I want to introduce a new bit on the right side. So I want to put something here. Maybe I can make this a 1011, or I can make this a 1010. Well, Either way, I'm going to have to push this over to the left. So first, what I need to do is uh, say, move this over to the left. And then at this point, this number is going to look like this. Now, how do I insert something in into here? Well, we can try doing a or. So, so if we say, uh, say I want to insert a 0 or 1, right? So if I say um, uh, at or with a 0, this is going to be 0, 1, 0, 1. If I have a 1, 0, 1, 0, and at or with a 1, right, this is going to be 1, 0, 1, 1. So you see how I was able to insert the number that I wanted by first moving this initial number over to the left and then oring it with whatever I wanted to insert. So now that we got the explanation behind it, let's go into the code. Uh, the actual problem is a 32-bit, so uh, I'm going to first uh, say uh, times 32, because we need to retrieve 32 individual bits and put it in a list of integers. So while we still have um, time, we still have to collect more bits. What we're going to first do is uh, 
get the temporary variable. So t is n and 1. That's going to get whatever we need on the rightmost. Then we're going to add t to the list. Then we're going to shift n over one time because we're done retrieving what we need. And then I'm going to decrement times by 1 because we only need to take it out 32 times. So uh, that is going to populate our list. Once we're done with that, um, we need to rebuild what we have. So let's say int result is what we need to return for the uh, output. So how do we do that? We, we already saw that my list is going to have the order reversed. So I can just say for int i is equal to 0, i is less than l dot size, i plus plus. And remember, we always have to push it out because we're inserting something new. So res is pushed over to the left once. Then we say res is equal to res ord with l dot get i. And then we just return result. So that's how you solve Leet Code 190. Uh, if you like the video, uh, please let me know. And uh, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.